This is the student master teacher, Mr. I Stay Woke, Chris Monroe, and I got a question for you. Do you believe that the police will plant evidence at a crime scene? How about drugs? How about even guns and weapons at a crime scene? Well, after this short video, your whole perception just might change. After you watch this video, you might just change your mind 360 degrees. My commentary coming up right after this. We're going to pause this right here. I want y'all to see there's no gun right here. And then I'm gonna play it again. And then I'm gonna try to slow motion it so that you can see the gun drop. And then now I saw another gun drop down on the scene. Nobody's talking about this. This is CNN live. All right, let's do it. Okay, boom. This is in slow motion. Yeah, man, they, they watch this. Slow motion, no gun on the ground. No gun on the ground. Keep Scott probably dead right there, right now. You see the other brother in the back moving. All right, I'm telling y'all, this they out here killing us. All right. I have to make it go real slow because I want y'all to see this. Now, hold up. Okay, now she almost didn't catch it. See, that's how the most high work. Now she pans back over. This is the wife now. Almost misses it again. Pans back over. Doesn't matter because we already saw the ground and there was no gun. Okay. Now, boom. Now, watch this. Still no gun. Still no gun. Okay? Now, you saw him point. You saw the cop in the, you saw the cop in the um, red short shirt point. Like he's trying to cause a distraction, right? No gun. No gun on the ground. Look close. Slow motion. No gun on the ground. They're not talking about this on live TV. And then you got a guy up there saying, I find it very hard to believe that 12 cops collide all the way up and down the chain. Slow motion, watch. Now, he's going in his pocket right there. Right there, he went in his cargo pocket. The other brother looks like he's over there saying, wait, wait, don't do it yet. Now, that is in slow motion and I can see it. Now watch this. Slow motion. Boom, gun drops out of the sky. All right? Now, that's, that's only one gun right there. That's the first gun I saw. When I posted in the other video. Now, you got people putting gloves on. The brother right there putting a glove on. This is on live TV. Right? Now you get this other cop walking up. Now there's one gun on the ground, right? I can't believe this, y'all. Now watch this. They kick the gun a little bit. Watch. And then all of a sudden, somebody reach down, pick it up. What's going on? Why are they messing with the crime scene already? Another gun drops. What the fuck? Yo. Now this is the type of stuff that I'm talking about. The police are doing exactly what they are supposed to do and exactly what they have been doing for a very long time. I say it all the time. The only thing new is the cameras. This technology has changed the game. Without the ability for the wife to go out and get video of the police murdering her husband in cold blood in broad daylight in front of her and in front of the world with this camera, no one would believe it if the woman just said, hey, you know, they shot my husband down and he didn't do anything. 
or he didn't have a gun as she said repeatedly in the video if you see the one the original video of the mother or the wife basically saying that he does not have a gun he has a traumatic brain injury however the police still do what they do best gun him down in the streets and then plant a gun now I don't know if that second time was uh, the gun being planted twice or if there was a glove that hit the ground but nevertheless we saw in clear view that the police dropped the gun wait a little bit think about it oops maybe I didn't put it in the right spot let's pick it up you know they usually would kick the gun away at the crime scene that's a normal thing now when they go ahead and pick up the gun no that doesn't happen they know they just shot somebody down they know this is a police crime scene they know that they've already probably radioed in and told the sergeant that hey we have shots fired shots fired we need backup or whatever we need more we need this but they didn't even call an ambulance they just knew that he's dead and like I said if you see the other video where she said he better not be dead he better not be dead yeah he's dead as a doorknob and do they give a care hell no to the no 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 now the chief says that he will not release any video dash cam or body cam because he doesn't want to inflame anybody else there in North Carolina now how much more inflaming do you want we know what you have done we know what your soldiers have done they have killed a man in cold blood just kill him they don't care and then the police who tamper with the evidence should be criminally charged and convicted I mean this is serious stuff I mean they should be held their feet to the fire I mean I know they're gonna make mistakes and do things but when you're going in and straight up tampering with evidence adding and taking away things from the crime scene that is unacceptable there is no excuse for that they could play it off that oh they choked they didn't mean to shoot or oh they thought he had a gun they thought they thought they thought but when you start coming in tampering with the crime scene you're messing with the very fabric of this criminal criminal justice system and that's how you know it's criminal what do you think about this leave your smart comments make sure you share this video out make it go viral don't forget to visit my website chrismonroestl.com do what you do be who you be and you know what else i'ma see you before you see me this is the student master teacher mr i stay woke and we got some brand new products that you're gonna like check out this rbg i stay woke pillow it's soft fluffy and great 18 by 18 inches double-sided print concealed zipper and it's machine washable order yours today at chrismonroestl.com